MVP versus MVP. KG and Timmy battled one another until the final buzzer. The chosen one arrived at the Mecca and did not disappoint. What's the problem with the Knicks over the last 72 hours? Who's in? Who's out? Who's number one? Our weekly power rankings explain the who, what, when, where, why, and how around the association. Alongside Sean Elliott and Stephen A. Smith, I'm Kevin Frazier, just working my dream job. We start this party with the game of the day. As the uh, Spurs and Timberwolves hooked up, that's why we showed you KG and Timmy, the man who should be MVP, the man who is MVP. Both would be on their game Sunday, Sean Elliott. Well, whenever these two get together, you know there's going to be a classic battle. KG, the pound, he was 12 of 27 from the floor, had 28 points. Second quarter, Spurs up a dime, and Duncan does his thing, Sean. You know, he has the best hands of any big man I've ever seen. Anytime the ball is in his area, you can just toss it up to him, he's going to go get it. And he went and got it. Third quarter, Spurs by seven. Duncan back in, and the hook there. And I've been trying to tell him, give a little up and under, a little pump fake in the lane. But you a coach now? <laughs> t Wolves next possession, KG, the short J, and it's good. He may be skinny, Kevin, but he can shimmy if he wants to. And that is your Dunk of the Night nominee. He goes baseline for the noise. t Wolves down by seven. Three minutes left. Five-point Spurs lead. Watch Sam Cassell here. Hey, the little things win you games, the little things win you championships. You got to box out. You don't box out, you get your feelings hurt. Not only that, he just stood still. Yes, sir. Looked like he was about to go to the bathroom or something. <laughs> make up his mind. What's up, Sam, baby? What's up? Sam atones for his sins. He was 10 of 14 from the floor. He had 24 points, one point game. T Wolves immediately fouled Manu Ginobili. Ginobili would hit his first free throw, so it's a two point game. Misses the second. What happens here, Sean? <coughs> Good defense by the Spurs, basically. Come on. T-Wolves can't get a shot off. Cassell and KG can't believe it. 94-92, your final score. That is disgraceful. I agree. Disgraceful. Tim Duncan, a 58% free throw shooter, hit seven of eight foul shots he took in the fourth quarter. Spurs end their season-high seven-game road trip with a 6-1 and one record, and love hurts, doesn't it, KG? You know, these Sunday games are a bitch. <laughs> so, y'all get to roll out of bed. Some of y'all grab a cigarette, some coffee, read the paper. You know, we got a, it's a different agenda here, but, you know, can't moan about it. We got to come out and play and got to be prepared. You know, as as they were, and uh, you know, it's not like a whole bunch of things that cost us a game. Just a, just a couple minor, de you know, details that we will fix. And uh, now the focus is Milwaukee. Okay. Uh, you see what happened at the end of this game. First off, the Spurs hit their free throws down the stretch. Tim Duncan seven for eight coming down the stretch. Manu Ginobili one for two, enough to get it done. But the Minnesota Timberwolves burned their timeouts. They needed a timeout desperately here. They had discombobulation. You look at here, the Spurs did a nice job keeping Sam Cassell from taking the big shot. You know he wanted it. When that ball swung over to Latrell Sprewell, you saw Manu Ginobili go over, cover Tim Duncan, went to the corner to cover Serbiak. Terrific defense by the Spurs. And, uh, Sean, a big win for this team. But, by the way, your guy, Rasho Nesterovic, Stephen, after the game, he was he was booed loudly by, loudly by the fans in Minnesota. It was his first game back in uh, Minnesota. And he said afterwards, I'm used to it. They're much worse in Europe. So, see, you can't. No, no. Oh, they... He's used to it because wherever he goes, that usually happens. <laughs> it doesn't matter that it was with his old team or Europe or anywhere else. He's Rasho Nesterovic. <laughs> 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 Saw his coach Mario Lally during the All-Star break. He said, get off his guy's back. He wants you two to get together. What anyway, up, boy? Still ahead on NBA Fast Break. LeBron is larger than life in his first visit to the Garden. 
Could the hometown kid defend his turf and could the Knicks pull their world together? Speaking of pulling their world together, how about Shaq and Kobe? Lakers owner Jerry Buss weighs in on Kobe's future next. They're so special. thing in active wear the Bengay pain relieving patch it's what everyone's wearing to get deep heating relief in a patch that lasts up to eight hours try on the new Bengay pain relieving patch it's what's hot in pain relief if on one hand you have one third less carbs than Coors Light and on the other the gold medal winner of the world beer cup then you have a Miller Light in each hand lucky you Miller Light great taste less filling no longer meant business travel. What if you could meet with people down the hall and across the country without leaving your desk? Be in different places, but still on the same page. Microsoft Office Live Meeting, a new service that lets you collaborate with groups of all sizes, all with just a phone, PC, and an internet connection. It's like being at the same table, even if you're worlds apart. Cinderella's and upsets galore. It's the Accenture Match Play Championship. When golf giants like Tiger and BJ get matched against a hot shooting underdog in a one-round duel, there's no telling what might happen. It's awesome, baby, and possibly the most exciting golf tournament of the year. The Accenture Match Play Championship. Live first-round coverage begins Wednesday at 1.30 on ESPN. The gum that doesn't give up. LeBron James making his Madison Square Garden debut. The Knicks coming off of that abysmal performance against Utah. Allen Houston said he was not happy about that ad so close to Madison Square Garden. House was what? Ron Brown went to work, didn't he? Well, for his first appearance in Madison Square Garden, I like the job he did. Little step back jumper, and that's the thing. LeBron's jumper isn't proving, isn't proving. And Lord help anybody once that happens. Third quarter and uh, more LeBron. Sometimes it's crazy, sometimes it's good. 52, 44 Cavs, and LeBron keeps coming, Sean. You know he, he he just has ridiculous moves around the bucket. This kid is so strong. Look at him inside, just dominating. Taking the boards, controlling the glass. He's 19. Cavs led by as many as 23, fourth quarter. And uh, Zydrunas Ilgowska said that the hoop looked like a swimming pool. Stephen A. Against the Knicks when you're big, that's usually <laughs> the case. 31 and 15, but uh, Knicks would make a run. Stefan, 4 of 21 in the first three quarters, hits the runner. Knicks going a 26 to 7 run. Marbury had 30. Uh, but Cavs, hold on. You know who they call LeBron. He can't finish, but uh, somebody would. This is just that kind of day for Paul Silas and crew. It's funny when you're winning, isn't it? LeBron, everything's funny to him. The boy's bad. And then he looked at the Knicks and said, it's over when he hit a late fashion. He's got confidence. He's cocky. And I love it because he's saying, I'm going to whip your butt. Stop me if you think you can. And By they can, obviously. By the way, at one point, the crowd and MSG started chanting, Keith Van Horn. Mm. Uh oh. All right. Wow. So uh, the Knicks are tumbling. The Cavs are climbing. So let's play a little Knicks Cavs. Take your pick, all right? Yes. I'm going to throw something out there. You guys decide which one. 
the Knicks version or the Cavs version you go with? Let's start with the general manager. Would you go with Jim Paxson or Isaiah Thomas? Take your pick, Sean. Uh, I'm going with what have you done for me lately, Jim Paxson. He's made just the right moves. The only problem Isaiah's made is the handling of Don Chaney and making too many trades. The Cleveland Cavaliers, addition by subtraction, they come in with Eric Williams, Tony Batiste. That was a tremendous move for that ball club. First of all, when you make, when you're succeeding, Scott Layden, you have to make an abundance of moves. <laughs> I mean, my goodness, of course you've got to trade for Stephon Marbury and Penny Hardaway. Of course you've got to trade for Tim Thomas and Nazi Muhammad. You need athletes that no, you can put yourself one. in a position. You can put yourself in a position right. to get better players in the future by getting better players right, let's now. Let's move on. I pick Isaiah. Let's talk about franchise players, LeBron or Stephon. Are, are, is that a trick question? <laughs> I, I don't know who in this league I would take before LeBron James. Not a lot of players. Deal. Come on. No, not right now I wouldn't because I'm talking about the future. This kid has 16 Kim years Duffy. coming up in the league. Kevin right Duffy. now, Stop it. LeBron. You, you had me until you said you would take him before Shaquille O'Neal. Now I'm put, touching your forehead. Shaquille only has two oh, years I, left. No, 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 two, three max. LeBron James, please. Thank you. Okay. And stop interrupting me. How about the coaches? <laughs> Paul Silas or Lenny Wilkins? Take your picture. Uh, what have you done for me lately? Paul Silas won today. His team looks like they're on the move. Nice week beating the Spurs at home, then going in and thoroughly dominating that Knicks ball club. Paul Silas is one of those coaches that can maximize the players, the, the talent level that he has available to him. He's an outstanding coach. All right, let's talk playoffs. And uh, which team or which team do you like their playoff chances better? Take your pick, Sean. Well, I like the Knicks right now because uh, uh, obviously because of the moves, uh, they had the two hiccups at home. But at the same time, they have a nice little cushion at that sixth spot. If these guys can manage to find some chemistry after the latest trade, they're going to be just fine. The Knicks will be just fine. They're the New York Knicks. It's Madison Square Garden. It's the Mecca. All of that stuff. And they've got a great point guard in Stephon Marbury. Cleveland's time will come, but it is not now. I picked the Knicks. But they will make the playoffs. The Cavs will. All right, see. We take a look at all your selections, and really all that matters is the playoffs, and you both say the Knicks will be fine in the playoffs. By the way, Cavs clinched the season series, and uh, they are just two and a half games out of the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference. Just wanted to throw that out there. Mm -hmm. You do that. We move on. Lakers unbeaten since the All-Star break. Phoenix, the stop Sunday. Jim Gray asked Dr. Jerry Buss about Kobe's future in L.A. Do you believe that Kobe Bryant will be with the Lakers next season, Dr. Buss? I believe he will be a Laker for life. All right. Late third. And What's he supposed to say? Wow. Well, what else? Kobe, baseline, the little kiss off the glass, L.A. up by a nickel. Fourth quarter, Suns down by eight. And looking to run. Isley, uh-oh. That's Amari Stoudemire. That's a dunk of the night nominee. He had 25 points. Suns uh, within six, but then Jack. Ah, uh, what a pass. Nice what that. a pass. And then, uh, what a and, and then tell me this play is not the play of the night. Gary Payton to Kobe Bryant. How does he finish this? Because he's Kobe. And he mean? is. And he's what? He's Kobe. And he's special. That's true. But I saved that for LeBron. I'm not going to bite off of it and use it twice. You know me better than that. My last name ain't Frazier. Oh, you're oh. <laughs> on fire tonight, aren't you? Is it the time? Kobe said that he's feeling better all the time. The All Stars averaging 33.5 points since the break. And the Lakers have won four straight. Kobe's playing well, so I guess that means he's staying in L.A., right? Kobe? We had Dr. Buss on at the end of halftime. He said 100% he felt absolutely that you would be a Laker for life. I'm wondering what your response to that is. I got it like that. <laughs> Do you concur with his assessment? I love it. You know, he's the boss. He's the boss, and he has that confidence. And, uh, you know, I want to be a Laker, so it looks good. Boy, did he dance around that answer. Dance? I mean, <laughs> Left, right. I mean, he went all around that question. Steven, is, 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 is he going to be a Laker? Man, I don't know. I'm not going to even sit here and pretend to the masses that I know what's inside that man's head. I don't know what's inside Kobe said. You would think <laughs> that he would stay a Laker. Anybody with sense would not want to leave Shaquille O'Neal in the opportunity to win a few more rings. Certainly, I think that he's going to remain but, but a take, Lakers, take, but I don't know. You, you got to take sense out of it when you talk about the Lakers, though, because Kobe wants to win rings without Shaquille O'Neal. But he's not going to win rings being working for Donald Sterling, okay? Even the, And his wife wants to remain to. in L.A. He doesn't oh, have to. Well, what, what, are he going to sell a team? All he has to do is make the Clippers a winner. No, and no. That, that solidifies no, no. his legacy. Anybody that can winning? make the Clippers a winner. What is your definition of winning? I thought it was a ring. That, that's just me. <laughs> that's what I thought. Well, I thought only was, one winner he's got every year. three rings. I thought winning, it, it, it was defined by rings. That, that's not what people want anymore. Mm -hmm. Really? 
They just want wait, the wait, fame. Wow. They want the fame wow. and the glory. You talking about your colleagues out there? Your former you, colleagues, the players? Don't get me wrong. I'll back you. Yes. I'll back you. Yes, I am. Okay. okay. You heard him. Lakers go to Denver on Wednesday, then they have that showdown with Sacramento on Thursday, so things will get very interesting as the uh, schedule yes. steps up for the Lakers, all right? Steven, can I read the book? Go ahead, you have my it's permission. It's your show, man. You have my permission. Still ahead, Tracy McGrady and his buddies uh, from Orlando <laughs> tried to pull off a magic moment in Detroit. Did Rasheed ruin the party? Plus, we'll revisit the plays of the week. celebrates Black History Month, the path we tread, presented by Nissan. While their friends romped and played, Venus and Serena Williams learned tennis on the public courts of Compton, California. Those lessons helped them to win championships all around the world. The sisters attracted unprecedented numbers of minorities to tennis, which has become the fastest growing sport next to golf among blacks. They proved that what matters is where your journey ends, not where it begins. That's the path we tread. We are lost. You keep complaining. I'm losing faith in your sense of yeah. direction. We're on our way. Who's there? Six girls? Six girls. Does one of them know where we are? Oh. Oh, great. Break glass in case of adventure. Now, we're in a Nissan Armada. Everyone can roll with us. We're going to the party now. Can I please drive now? Uh, I'd love to drive. Uh, Presenting the full-size Nissan Armada. From the mind of Stephen King comes a story so personal, only he could tell it. Inside this skull is the biggest, scariest, haunted house of them all. Welcome to Kingdom Hospital, where patients never die. <laughs> For the first time ever, a weekly series from the master of horror. Cool. Yes, it is. Goodbye. Stephen King's Kingdom Hospital. There are lots of vacancies. Coming Wednesday, March 3rd to... She had a music report due this morning, but our computer is so slow. Quick, how do you get your internet service? Through the dish. She suffered a total photonic shutdown. You mean... She fell asleep waiting for the connection. But thanks to Charter, we'll have that report finished in no time. Do you know anything about the blues? Tired of waiting? Get Charter high-speed internet for $21.95 a month. The dish is a disease. We're the cure. Call 1-888-GET-CHARTER. Hi, I'm Brett Gowan, owner of B&G Discount and Schoolcraft. It's a new year and all new merchandise has arrived at our one-of-a-kind outlet store. All inventory from last year has been sold and B&G is being filled with thousands of new closeouts at unbelievable prices. Whether it's tools large and small or gloves and tarps for on the job, B&G Discount is the store you just cannot miss. Truckloads of merchandise are being sold at wholesale prices to the public seven days a week. B&G is easy to find on US 131 in Schoolcraft. Rockets and Hawks, not a game we even expected to make the show, but sometimes you're surprised. Under a minute ago, Hawks down 94-91. Bobby Sword gets double, whips it to Chris Crawford, and he's got three. It's a magic number. We're tied at 94. We go to extra fun. Rockets down by two. Yao was monstrous, Sean. 41, 16, and 7. Yao Ming, bling, bling. I mean, no one to guard the big-headed, big fella in the block. We're tied at 99. 10 seconds at OT. Rockets down by three. Steve Francis, Jim Jackson, Steve Francis. Nice. Tied at 107. 2.1 seconds left in OT. Jason Terry for the win for the Hawks. And, uh, oh. You're kidding, right? He had 27 points. Could have used those two right there. How about using your left hand on that one? That's right. true. Tied at 111 and two overtime. Shot clock winding down. JT! Oh. Uh -huh. Hawks up 114 to 111. Last chance. Jim Jackson down ahead, by Sammy. three. Go ahead. That's JJ. And he's done like. the house. We're Same ahead. birthday as Stephen A. Smith. We didn't need that information. We're headed I'm to the I'm giving it to you anyway. Yow. Yeah. The fade. That's what I'm talking about, though. That's where Yao needs to take over ball games. Forget the double team. You're seven six. Last chance for Atlanta. Down by two. Good look. Bad result. Now, Yao Ming was waiting. He's holding down Yao, the paint area. Yao Ming was sensational, but how about we give Jim Jackson some love? How about we give his game some love and his not game, his birthday? His game. Not his birthday. His game is big time. Not his birthday. He's showing me a lot. I, I mean, you know he can play because everywhere he goes, he starts. 
but he does not get enough love. He deserves more love. And a bigger paycheck, Houston. But we won't go there. <laughs> Magic haven't there. been the same since Tracy McGrady guaranteed a victory over the Pistons in uh, the playoffs. Tracy McGrady fined $10,000 for kicking that ball in the stands. Rashid Ray to roll. Rashid Ray to roll. Dunk of the night nominee. Pistons up by eight. He had 14 points. But uh, McGrady struggled, Sean. Uh, you know, once he gets it going, he's unstoppable. But when he doesn't have it going, that's when he needs to start giving the ball up. He's entitled to struggle. He's awesome. McGrady missed 16 of his first 17 field goal attempts, but under three minutes to go. And Magic down by a deuce, and there's T-Mac, and he's feeling it. He's flow. also entitled to struggle because it won't last forever. <laughs> he had 19 points. It was 3 of 19 from the floor. Late. Pistons could put it away. T-Mac the steal, and Jawan Howard. Uh-huh. Hail Murray. Magic up by one. Take another look at this. McGrady comes up from behind and steals it from Chauncey Billups. And Sean, how does Chauncey lose the ball in that situation? Because Tracy McGrady has plastic man arms. Uh, he just reached in from behind. He's got those long digits. To have to protect the ball. Last Use chance, Rashid pulls Use up, that. shoots the air ball. And afterwards, Rashid said, now normally I would not shoot an air ball. And Chauncey said that his arm was grabbed. Meanwhile, Juwan says, I've got a W. It's rare. He should enjoy the moment. Tracy McGrady was enjoying the moment afterwards. He said, quote, it feels good to win a game. I don't care that it's the Pistons or anyone else. Pacers and Jazz, second quarter. Reggie Miller gets called for the offensive foul because he kneels Roger Bell in the ouch groin. Oh, you think? That was very insensitive on the part of Reggie Miller. Rick Carlisle went crazy, and he said afterwards, there are going to be disagreements about calls, and I understand the officials have a very tough job out there, but I really felt that two of our best players, Reggie Miller and Jermaine O'Neal, were not being treated with respect. How can he argue that? Out there. I can... couldn't stand to watch that. How can he argue that call, though? That's, 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 not, that's, not, that's not the call I argue. That's Roger Bell. And, 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 unless, and unless, unless Rick Carlisle was a female coach, he should be a bit more sensitive to the player of Raja. 21 and 10 for Jermaine on the other way. Kings and the shorthanded Raptors and Vladi Divac going to work, dropping dimes like weight, Sean. Old head, man. I'm telling you, he still knows how to play the game. He may not get up and down the court as quick as he used to, but he can give that rock up. Doug Christie, the basket, sing, single Jackie, quick. Danielle Marshall with the noise on Vladi's head. He had 18 points, but then look, watch this, a little look at that pass. See, Vladi, Vladi's still well, clowning people. Well, assist for Vladi Diva. So we go from the best team in the West to our power rankings. And uh, Stephen A. Smith, let's get your top five. We start with you. Go ahead. My top five right your now. Your top five. My are... top five would be the Pacers, <laughs> the Wolves, number two, the Spurs, number three, the Kings, number four, the Lakers. Number five. Unbeaten since Unbeaten the All-Star break. All -Star break. They, weren't partying, they weren't partying that hard in L.A. Not as hard as you, Mr. Frazier. Hold on, you were with me there. at every party. Are so you I, sure about that? I don't have any... Over. I don't recollect that. <laughs> I have no recollection of that whatsoever. The Spurs are playing well. Oh, I mean, no question they're playing well. I, I, what did I say at the beginning of February? Run the tape back. Run the tape back. I said... Last year in the month of February, when they went on the road for rodeo, they went yeah. off on people. You can't take you seriously about the Spurs. You're biased. I work with the uh, all-self-congratulatory team. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, oh, you see, I, I got the Kings because they're still the best, the, the, Pacers, the best team in basketball. I'm the best analyst ever. <laughs> You really do feel that way, though, so don't act like you don't. don't you like you, you can see my power rankings right there. I don't have to explain them. What about the New Jersey Nets, though? They're well, also playing they, well. They, they they, they they, you have to give them some love. Absolutely. The way they're playing right now, they're playing with such ener energy. Kenyon Martin has been a complete animal. The last 12 games is unbelievable. How did Stephen A. leave the Nets out of his You know what? Ranking? Because I was ignorant tonight. I really was. Okay, and that says, you, you know why? Because <laughs> of Kenyon, well, speaking of Kenyon Martin, let me make this quick point. Everybody was getting on him because he felt he was being insulted when he was off at $66 million. He came back this year with his mm -hmm. intent mm -hmm. on proving that he deserved more. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly what he's doing, Mr. Rod Thorne. You are going yes. to have to pay this man. Yes. You're right. going to have to pay yeah, Kenny he's Martin. Because he's playing serious like ball. He's playing beast. serious basketball. All right, right we go from the top teams to the top plays. Here are the plays of the week. Kid whips a pass. Oh. Jefferson, the cutter, drives, fire. Richard Jefferson, your flight has landed. Medvedenko back on Richardson. Attacks inside. Hammers it home. Oh. Williams for Burlington. A 
unbelievable pass by Williamson. He's that capable. Oh, oh, oh what a move by Wade. Oh, oh. A crossover that could have broken an ankle. Dwayne Wade. Harrington will have to hurry. Let's it fly. Counts to the goal. Yeah. At the horn. Yeah. dunk of the night and uh you know what if i'm still miles with i i don't want to see the dallas man no championship week presented by 7 on march 6 to 14th on espn and espn 2. to go back in. Jet Li in Rise to Honor. Rated T for T. Hey, fish stick. Your SUV's pretty tough, right? Not when friction takes over, pal. Friction and heat cause stress and wear, which over time can make that little dinghy seem a lot heavier. Nice shooting, Tex. You need Quaker State, 4x4 and SUV synthetic blend. It's proven to reduce friction and deliver superior performance under high stress and heat. One word, pal. Carpool. Quaker State. The power to reduce friction. Don't make me send you the lab results. Welcome to the house of beer. We have 170 kinds of beer from all over the world. The beers are color-coded and separated by country, style, and color. Call me when you're ready. I'm ready. All the Sam Adams. Yeah. yeah. You can go around the world and not find a better beer than Samuel Adams. Always a good decision. What's the hot new thing in active wear? The Bengay Pain Relieving Patch. It's what everyone's wearing to get deep heating relief in a patch that lasts up to eight hours. Try on the new Bengay Pain Relieving Patch. It's what's hot in pain relief. If your dinner doesn't arrive in five seconds, it's on us. Too rare? The five-second guarantee. Bad idea for fine dining. Good idea for online trading. At Ameritrade, if your qualified trade takes longer than five seconds, your commission is waived. Sign up now and get 25 commission-free trades. Go to Ameritrade.com slash TV slash or call 888-493-7500. Introducing the Bowflex Ultimate. Quite possibly the best home fitness machine ever made. Bowflex is so effective that we guarantee you'll get the results you want in six weeks or less. Own the new Bowflex Ultimate with no money down and monthly payments lower than many health club dues. Call and ask for a free video or DVD or visit us on the web today. The new Bowflex for ultimate results. Oh, baby, if I say he's off the show, okay, he's off the show. Watch ESPN Dream Job and then go to ESPN.com slash Dream Job to vote on who gets cut from the running. You could win the all-new Mazda 3 or a trip to ESPN Studios. I will be handsomely rewarded, Kyle. The Sonics overwhelmed the Celtics tonight, so uh, that is where our dunk of the night comes from. Greg Grady, our PA, his behind is on the line for this one. It better be good, Greg. Uh, you know, Greg knows what he's doing. He's played the game before. For sure. I like it. I need to see the replay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that was a nice pass. I'm sorry. I, I like it. All right, he sticks around. Real quick, uh, Billy Hunter told ESPN.com on Sunday that union officials will determine by Tuesday if Vin Baker's possible signing with another team would interfere with the union's action against the Celtics on his behalf. 
Uh, meanwhile, Lakers win again. Spurs win a big game. Yes. So Sean's happy. A couple big uh, ones on the Knicks road. Got run out. That means I'm not happy. I just wanted to point that out. <laughs>